Um, NT pro B and P, it's it's a peptide hormone that's secreted by the left ventricle, um, from um, it's, uh, especially in heart failure. Um, and there's uh, quite a bit of information to show that it might be able to discriminate between respiratory distress of cardiac versus non-cardiac causes, uh, diagnosis of preclinical heart disease, and even staging the severity of heart disease. And there are people that are looking at uh, trending response to therapy and potentially guiding therapy. But absolute cutoffs for these are are some ongoing investigation. Um, so the question is, how can we um, utilize this? Uh, there is a um, from IDEX, you can get this diagnostic test run. Um, the sort of cutoffs right now is anything from about zero to 900. It's usually clinically insignificant heart disease or normal, um, up to about 1,800. That, that dog probably has important um, uh, heart disease, but it's pretty unlikely that dog's in heart failure. Even if that dog had clinical signs, unless his value was over 2,700, you'd could probably still suspect that, of course, he's got important heart disease, but his dyspnea is probably not associated with, with congestive heart failure. Anything over 2,700 is really uh, suggestive that that patient has congestive heart failure. And so you can see how you can utilize this test to try and, um, and, and again, it's not just a standalone test. It would be in combination with some of the, um, the uh, other diagnostic tests that we've, uh, uh, we've discussed. And, and we've, we've done tests with serial BNP monitoring, um, and I showed you these radiographs before, um, and what I wanted to show you is um, the uh, progression in this dog. These are the same radiographs I showed you before, and you can see when he had no uh, radiographic um, increase in heart size, um, his, his BNP levels were normal, and then over the, the time that he progressed and ultimately, ultimately developed heart failure, his BNP levels uh, uh, progressed as we might have anticipated that they would.